Hi, Mike again with uh, Draft Buddy for Fantasy Football. And the last video went over the Rules tab, which we see here, the first tab in Draft Buddy. But now we're going to look at the Scoring tab. Uh, and note, we haven't done anything with the cheat sheets yet. We haven't created cheat sheets yet. We are just doing the settings. Um, so then, at once we have the settings in place, then we'll create our cheat sheets over on the Action tab. But we'll get to that. Let's look at the Scoring tab here. And, uh, you know, hopefully it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it's by position, uh, quarterbacks, if I scroll down, quarterbacks, running backs, wide receivers, tight ends, kickers, team defense, and then our IDP split out to the three main positions down below. The, uh, you know, and everything's set up, you know, kind of with two yellow cells per main scoring category. We have the FF points and the per unit, you know, and I guess the reason for doing that originally is, you know, you get... In, for example, the passing yards here, I've got one per 20 yards, or I could change this to one per 25 yards. Now, a lot of leagues use decimal scoring, so really I could change this to 0 0.04 per one and get the same thing. The important thing is the per unit, it can't be zero. It's going to give an error. You know, it's like having zero in the denominator of a fraction. It doesn't work, um, but you're essentially going to be the same thing whether I keep this 1 to 10 uh, for the rushing yards or if I go 0.1 to 1. Okay, but you, you know, don't change the per unit down to 0. Um, we could, uh, you know, negatives are fine. You can go minus 2 for interceptions, let's say, uh, minus 1 for fumbles lost. Uh, the, the categories you see here 300 yard passing, 100 yard rushing, 100 yard receiving. Down here for running backs and receivers. Uh, that is, you know, what kind of when they hit those milestones. It's we have projections for hitting the, those yardage milestones. Uh, you can't change these numbers. You know that you know the projection is for 300 yards passing or more, or 100 yards rushing or more. Uh, if your league, you know, is a little bit different, um, so you get a bonus for 125 yards rushing in a game. Uh, then we should probably adjust this a little bit. And, and often, often what I would suggest is, you know, say you had, um, you know, five for 300 yard passing, five for 100 yard rushing, um, but, uh, well, let's say, sorry, you had five for 125 yards rushing. Well, then, you know, the per, you know, the, the projection is 100 yards rushing. Maybe we'll just drop this down to four, say, you know, and say that, you know, four out of five, would get uh, to the 125 mark. Uh, you can always email me, of course, if you want, and we can discuss your scoring if you don't think it fits perfectly into the draft buddy options. Uh, we have uh, passing, rushing, receiving, distance scoring as well. And uh, these ranges are not meant to be changed, but there's 10 ranges for every type of touchdown. Uh, so you can put those um, as you like. Now, don't double count your touchdowns. So if I had, um, you know, if I had four per touchdown, but then a bonus of two, if it's over 40, then I would want to put two in here, okay? Because I have four over here. I don't want to put four here and six here, okay? Because then I'd be double counting the, that, uh, the four, all right? And I put the two in for every single one, okay? Um, so, so it, it really doesn't take that long to update the scoring. Um, you know, in fact, you can even, if you're running back, wide receiver scoring is identical. Uh, you can even uh, copy it, you know, quickly, like just highlight these yellow cells. Um, hit Control C or Command C to copy, put it down here, paste it for the wide receivers, and you've got the exact same thing. Uh, and the tight ends as well, even. Okay, they've got all the same categories in the same order. Um, similar for the kickers, you're going to have uh, some distance uh, bonuses here you can use. Uh, the team defense has various options, including points against, yards against, and these ranges you can change. You can see I've had them highlighted in yellow, uh, so if you need to, but just kind of make sure the ranges go in order. So I've got, you know, 0 to 2, but then 3 to 9, 10 to 14, etc. Same with the yardage. You know, just kind of make sure they're consistent and fill in the entire thing, going all the way down. Uh, okay, that's uh, mostly the scoring. There are a couple options up here. You can pull scoring from the My FS Today feature. Um, 
the whether it be some of our default scoring options here, um, like a default PBR, or if you are using my FF Today feature on the FF Today website, then you can input your league ID from the my FF Today control panel and increase it and, and pull in the scoring that way. But like I said, if the uh, you know it really doesn't take that long to go through and just update the scoring. And it's actually a good refresher, you know, you make sure you check your league rules, check the scoring, you've got it in accurately. Uh, and it's, you know, kind of reminds you like, oh yes, this league is, you know, a little higher on the passing touchdowns than other leagues, or it gives negatives for interceptions, um, it has bonuses for distance, that type of thing. It's, it's kind of a good refresher of your own league rules, and you can kind of in your mind, you know, know how you expect certain players to uh, go up or down the rankings based on the projected points which is you know created from the scoring and the projections. Okay, so that is the uh, scoring tab, and at this point we're going to, you know, we've got our rules tab filled in. We've got our scoring tab filled in. We've got the basic setup for DraftBuddy to create cheat sheets. So we will come back with the next video on how to do that.